Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech 5 Production. Now, a few years back, when I just started getting more into the custom PC and build your own PC market, whenever someone wanted a more premium AIO, I automatically thought of the NZXT Kraken series of AIOs due to its unique look of its pump and good performance that it can provide. Now, the AIO market has a lot more competition these days and a lot more options and NZXT wants to continue its AIO reign with this. Now let's talk about the new Kraken series that NZXT happily named the new Kraken series, which is totally not confusing at all. Now in a few areas, it sees a nice improvement, but also feel it lost a little bit of what made it unique, especially for the Kraken series of AIOs. We'll be talking about its specification, how it performs, and most importantly, its aesthetic and design language, the pricing of it, and the value proposition, especially if compared to its more premium siblings, the older Elite and Z series of Kraken AIOs. So let's start off with the pump of the new Kraken 240 AIO. It will be running on the Acertec Gen 7 pump, which is same as the old X and Z series of NZXT AIO. The fans though, although looking similar to the previous fans, had changed to another model, where it's currently running on the NZXT F series of fans, using the F120P static pressure fans. Despite being a bit slower, running at only at 1800 RPM, it actually has a higher CFM compared to the previous air fans. Now this should allow the NZXT, new NZXT AIO model to perform slightly better than its predecessor, which was already a great performer. Why don't we have a look at the performance first before looking at the pump and the screen that's provided on here, basically the aesthetic of the AIO. And we'll be using the current generation of AMD Ryzen 7 7700 and seeing what temp is like under load with a 30 minute cycle of Cinebench R23 with this AIO. And here was the result of the stress test and we can see that the Kraken 240 is easily able to handle the 8 core processor that outputs around 100 watts of power. Now onto the main event of this new cooler, that is its pump design and the changes that's been made compared to its older predecessor coolers. A 1.54 inch screen has been added and even on the and this even on the non-elite model with a screen resolution of 240 by 240 with a refresh rate of 30 hertz the screen will have your standard display such as liquid temps cpu temps and gpu temp or you can even have both of them running side by side to show you both of the info image support of jpeg and png is present too but an odd omission would be gif support I'm guessing that this is reserved for the more premium elite models of the AIO, but I personally don't like this decision as a lot of people wanted to get an AIO with a screen to put their favorite GIFs on them. NZXT has instead implemented web integration for your motion picture needs. However, I still personally prefer GIF as they are easier to set up on an AIO. Though having the pump display run through software as it does now, it does make it easy to spin around the display, allowing you to have the AIO in any orientation that you prefer. So finally, screens are present in the non-elite series of NZXT coolers. That allows for useful data such as CPU and GPU temps, and allows you to put in your favorite images on it very easily. But I personally still prefer the look of the classic infinity mirror from the older X series of AIO from NZXT. The infinity mirror design was one of a kind for AIO pumps and honestly, it still kind of is. There's not much AIO design like that before and for even people who don't know much about custom PC, they will also know sometimes it's to mention it's like, oh, I like that, that liquid cooler with the spinning thing and it usually means for the Kraken. So, with the new Kraken AIO now using software and a screen for its main pump screen, I'm thinking of why not add an extra mode called the classic mode that allows the screen to mimic the older infinity mirror design. So it allows for people who like the older classic look of the AIO to change it to the classic look, 
while allowing newer people who likes having more info on their AIO to change it up too. So if you ask me, it'll be a win-win to be able to choose from that. Moving on then from the design of the pump, and let's talk about the installation process for the new Kraken AIO. For anyone who's built on the previous Kraken AIO before, you'll feel right at home here. We're building on the AM5 platform, but support for the LGA1700 and even its older 1200 and 1150X are still present too. The user manual is clear and easy to read. Thank you for not putting in just a QR code for and direct us to an online manual. And the installation process is straightforward and simple. There will be a single breakout cable that connects to the pump within having a PWM header, a splitter for three PWM fans header to connect to, a USB header and a SATA header. Any fan that's connected and installed into the PWM of this breakout cable will be able to adjust its speed through NZXT's CAM software. Now, thanks to this breakout cable, it makes the NZXT Kraken AIOs, most of the, all of them actually, one of the easiest AIO to build and install into your PC. Finally, let's talk about the pricing on the Kraken 240 AIO and the area where I think NZXC strikes the perfect note, coming in at only 599 ringgit compared to the previous Elite or Z series of AIO that also has a screen. This is a great entry price for a lot of people. And although it doesn't have as many settings and options on the screen itself, it's still an LCD screen that allows you to tinker for images or temps and everything. And considering that the new improved fans of this AIO comes with it too, I say this is a reasonable price for sure. So that's all for our review for the NZXT Kraken 240 AIO. We hope that this video will help you out in choosing your next cooler. And we hope that you enjoyed this video. We hope you like, share and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.